Hey everyone, I'm Siddharth. I'm a second year B.Tech IT student from NSEC Kolkata. Now, welcome to our channel Kursha. Today, we will be discussing the problem named as Helping Chef, which has a problem code of Clo008. It has a difficulty level of easy and the prerequisite to solving this problem is none. Let's understand the problem statement. Now, the problem statement says that we need to write a program, okay, which takes an integer n and if the number is less than 10, then display thanks for helping chef. Otherwise, we need to display minus 1. Okay, suppose the number is 4, okay, then we need to print thanks for helping chef if the number is 11 then we need to print minus 1 now let's look at the input itself okay the input says that it would contain an integer t and what is t t is the number of test cases okay then it follows t lines each containing a integer n so it is just that we need to handle multiple cases, okay? Suppose one case, second case and third case and we need to solve them individually, okay? How can we implement this? Suppose the number of cases are 4 itself, okay? Then we would be given 4 numbers that is 3, 7, 9 and 12, okay? Now we need to find a way so that we can handle the test cases and we can handle this with the help of a for loop itself okay and this for loop would continue to execute itself for the number of test cases okay now the problem boils down to the fact that we need to handle the test case individually okay now we would be considering only the 3 itself, okay? Suppose it is 3. So, if 3 is less than 10, in the same way it would be implemented. If 3 is less than 10, then we would print thanks for helping chef, else minus 1. If the normal if else is used, we can implement this. Now, let's look at the sample test cases itself. So these are the number of test cases. These are the individual test cases. One is less than 10. So it is printing thanks for helping chef. And 12 is greater than 10. So it is printing minus 1. Minus 5 is less than 10. So it is printing thanks for helping chef. Now one more thing to consider is we need to print the value of each test case on a new line itself. Okay. Now, let's move to the coding arena and implement this. Now, we would be implementing this. Let's take the number of test cases. Int tc. Then we would be taking the input after the initialization. Then we would be initializing a for loop. Int t is equals to 1 and t is less than equals to tc and t plus plus then we would be taking the input of the number itself so int n and then c in the n if n is less than 10 what would we print we would print that i have already copied the phrase itself okay and then we would be printing it with an end line and then if it is not the case then we would just be printing minus 1 and then the end line t out minus 1 and then end line itself now let us run this on the sample test cases and yes sample test cases passed thanks for helping chef minus 1 and thanks for helping chef. Now let us submit this and see if we get an AC. Now let's submit this and wait for the verdict. 
and yes we got an ac if you are interested in competitive programming and want to learn and master data structures and algorithms this is a one stop destination for you every week we post code shift problem explanation live problem solving sessions and frequently asked interview problems consider subscribing this channel if you haven't yet already